Hello guys, in this video we'll be looking at string in Swift programming language. We'll be looking at how we can initialize string, string concatenation, string interpolation, assessing and modifying string, inserting and removing, inserting and removing, and we also check, we also look at substring. Now, without further ado, let's move into S code. Now, we are going to start with initializing string. How can we initialize a variable to be a string? Now, there are two ways which we can do this. We can use an object syntax or we can use a string literals. So, to demonstrate this, let's look at this exam example. Initializing string. So let me declare a variable called paragraph, paragraph, and assign it to an empty string, like this, an empty string. So what we did now is that we declare a variable and initialize it in a string literals to an empty string. We can also use an object, object, object initializer syntax. So to do that, let's declare another variable called the let me call this paragraph two. And say string. Now, string is one of the built-in type in, in Swift programming language, just like we have int, we have the booleans, we have so many other types that, that comes with the language itself. Yes. Let's look at string concatenation. String concatenation is just a way of adding two variables that will type string together to become a single, a single, a single, a single variables. So let's look at this. Let's say we have var, and let's call this first name. And for the first name, let me let's assign it to a string with my name Sunji. And let's declare this other variable. Let's call it last name. Var, last name. And let's assign this variable to um, mid. So now if we create a mid. Now let's declare another variable. Let's call this full name. So to concatenate this, this two string, we will do what we do is we put first name with an addition of operator, and then we had the last name. So when we print this, let's print the full name to the console and see what we have. So now we can see that we have Tsunji Ahmed. So let's give this some space here so that we can ask, so that I can separate here, separate. And then let's rebuild this. So now we can see we have Tsunji Ahmed on our console. Now, so what we just basically did is that we concatenate those two strings, first name and last name together. I like to put it in this way, string concatenation. Now let's look at string interpolation. String interpolation. String interpolation basically allows us to pass a variables into a string. So now let's look at this, let's call this Greetings. I wanted to I wanted to add the variable first name to this. So let's say var greeting. Let's assign this and so let's say hello with an exclamation mark and then let's concatenate our first name to this. To concatenate, we use our backward slash. 
it's and then we open our brace then we put the variable which we wanted to which is first name so let's print greetings to the console let's print this is greetings now let's view this Now it also we have hello Kindi. This is very useful in our application. We use this a lot in, in when building applications. So now let's look at how we can access and modify strings. So now we have accessing and modifying strings. Now let's create a variable, let's call this some message bar, some message let's say hello Paul. trust you have Well, now, so as, let's say we wanted to access the first index in this. Let's print this to the console. I'll just so I'll just put it in the print. Let's say we wanted to access the first character of this. So what we do is we there's a we can say some message. Then put a square brace. Let's type some message again. Some message. Then dot start index so what we did what this does is that it's going to return the indices of the first character of this string so if we print this to the console now we should have the h return to us so let's print this to the console let's print this to the console we have print and then let's run this So now you can see that we have the letter H here. So let me let me comment this out so that this can be clear. Let's run this again. So we now have the letter H here. Now let's check this out again. So there's another let me copy this and let's print out the console the last index. And let's see what we have. End index. see end index so with this now with this end index this end index will return an index after the, the last character which is l so what we happen is we are going to have an, a runtime error here which is going to say that that this is out of range so let's try to see this now you can see now we have we have an out of range error and the reason why is because this and in this is, is it's an index after the last character of that particular string. So, but for us to get the last index, what we can do is what we can do is this to get that index, we can use the method index on this instead of using the square brace, we say index, then before that's it, before that last index, which is after the after the last character some message dot end in this so with this now we should be able to assess that the, the, the character the L letter which is our last character on the, in this so Now we can see that this this return an index of it. So if you wanted to pass, if you wanted to get the character itself, you need to do this. Let's copy, let me copy this out. So can I say some message? Square brace and then paste that in. 
So when we build this, we should get the help. So we can now see now that we now have our last letter in this string. Also, we can also work with, we can also take some offset of, uh, we, can, we, can, we can indicate our starting this and then offset it to get some certain character out of it. So let's see this. So let's say, let me copy this, and just modify it. So now, now we have some message here. So what I wanted to do is, let me indicate our start index as this. And then we can now say offset by, let's change this to start index so that it will be between the range. We can now indicate offset by, let's say, Seven. So if we put this to the console, we should see the letter after counting one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Printed to the console. So let's do that. You succeeded. So now we cannot see now that we have this L. So if we count from here now, we can see that this L will be our seven after counting seven out of this. Now let's go to inserting and removing from some part of a string. So inserting and removing from strings. Now to insert into string, we have a, a string object as a method. The string instance as a method. So let's just see that. Let's say some message dot insert. We have an insert method. Then with this method, we can have, we can now say, let's see, say new element of type character. We can insert a character at, at, at this. So we can say, let's say our character is an exclamation mark. And then we now have to indicate the index, the indices of where we wanted to do it. So we can say some message dot dot end index but remember end index, let's say end index for example but if we use end index here what will happen is that this is going to be a, there's going to be an error an out of an out of an out of range error because the after after the end index is it should be out of range so what we can do here is that we can indicate we can say dot index then we can say before for that add end of mail, can I some message dot end index? So if we print this to the console now, we should have our message with with exclamation mark at the end. So let's print this. Then we have say some message. So print to the console. We succeeded. So we cannot see that we have this just before the last character so let me let's let's do the let's do it this way and see what we have let's remove this so let's bring this to the console again you so now we cannot see that we now have this hello hall trust you are well with an exclamation mark at the end of the test at the end of the the, the, the string we have. So now let's look at how we can remove. We can remove character, or before we move to removing, let's also check this because now what we did here is we just insert a a single character. We can also in, include content. So so let's say some message dot insert content. So with this, we can we can we can include more like a string, like a word. Let's say, "Hi, I'm good." Let us put, "I'm good." Let's indicate the index. This is some message. Dot 
stars in this. So let's print this one. Let's see what we have. So you can see that okay, we have hello. I'm I'm good here. I'm good after this before this time in this. So let me just put this so that I can have some space and review this. Let's see what we have. So now we can see that we have I am good, hello, trust you are well, blah, blah, blah. So that's how we can also include some content into an already existing, that's how we can insert content into an existing string. Now let's look at how we can remove, how we can remove from string. Sometimes we want to remove from character from a string. Let's let's see how we can do that. Now to do that, let's see, we can say let me comment out some of this. Comment out this. So we can say some message. Then we have a method on it called remove at. So this now what we have to do here is to indicate the 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 index, what we wanted to remove. So let's remove the exclamation mark which we have added already. So let's say some message dot end index. End index. So now let's bring this to the console. Yes. You succeeded. Okay. Sorry. Okay. This is out of bond because this will give us the, the string outside. So let's do this. So to do that, let's let me let's make some corrections here. So we say index dot before some string dot end index. So view succeeded now, and now we have our if we check the console now, we can see that the exclamation mark is gone. So now let's look at how, how we can remove range of values. Let's say we wanted to remove, let's check our string. We wanted to remove trust you are well out of this string and just return only hello all. So how we can do that is we are going to declare a, a range. Let's say we have a let's declare a constant variable range. Let's say let range then assign it to a certain range. Let's say some message dot oh, sorry call the method index let's indicate where it's going to start so let's say it's going to start let's say some message dot end index the dot end index that'll be our starting point they wanted to offset it by how how much so since we are counting back well let's count the number of variables we have one two three four five six seven eight nine 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So that's it. It is 19. So since we are counting back all the weeks, we can do that by 3 minus 1 9. Now, then with our range operator, sorry, we do. So our ending will be welcome, sorry, some index dot. End in this. So now to remove every character within that range, now what we we'll do is we can say some message dot remove the remove sub range, and then we introduce the band which we already declared, which is a range constant which we declared. So let's print it, let's print the message to function and see what we have. So now we can now see that we have hello hall. So that's how to remove some range and characters from our from a string. And this is the end of this video. Please don't forget to subscribe, leave a like button and share. See you in the next video.